Anyhow, we were talking about Microsoft, and, and on that note, um, I would like to show you guys something that we did. Uh, we went to Microsoft. You guys have already seen a little bit of this. We went to, I went to Microsoft to their campus and looked at some of the research projects that they're working on, and it was a pretty interesting trip. So take a look, and, uh, and we'll be right back. I never thought I'd see this with my eyes, with my eyeballs. I figured I'd have to get implants to see it. Building 92. There's 91 buildings before this. It's pretty amazing. Hey. Hey, Josh. Steve, how are you? Good to see you. So this is uh, Steve Clayton. He's going to show us around the campus and uh, take us into the dark, deep chambers that no one else is ever allowed to see, That's right? That's going. what you promised yeah. me. Welcome to Microsoft. All right, let's do it. I'm excited I can get like a cloud computing shirt, t-shirt. That's your color. It's my size too, small, lady small. What you need is, is some golf gear. Yeah, <laughs> do you have golf gear here? Um, Balmer is a golfer, right? Does he golf or no? Uh, I think so. I've not played around with do you, him. Are you allowed to refer to him as Balmer? Steve. Or is that against rules? You can't say there Balmer? Go. Golf mate. Yeah, but it doesn't say Microsoft on it. I'll bet it does. No, it doesn't. Look at this line. What is what? Oh, what are the savings like? Wait a second. Is this a line for Zunes? Yeah. What do you mean? No, 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 but is there any special reason why there's a line for Zunes? And now they're back in stock. Are you getting... Zunes are back in stock at Microsoft and there's a line. This is insane. This is probably the only place where you'll see a line for Zunes, actually. Which is... Are they, they're going to kick us out? Now, this kind of makes me want to buy a Zune, though. I might get in this line. How much is the 64? This is a visitor center. This is designed just to kind of show off what you guys are doing. Yeah, it gives a little sense of how the history of where we've Microsoft come from. Microsoft invented the typewriter. Yeah, I'm you not invented sure. the you invented the Atari. You get a General Electric things. television. Are you taking credit for the GE television? I feel like that's somewhat disingenuous. My job is to work with all of the kind of product groups, all of the research teams across Microsoft who are looking at trends like natural user interface and social computing and cloud computing and sort of help to tell the story of what Microsoft is doing across 90,000 people. Where are we right now? We are on uh, main campus uh, for Microsoft in Redmond in Building 99, which is the headquarters for Microsoft Research Worldwide and the location of our um, Redmond Research Lab. Hey, so uh, who are you guys and what are you working on? So I'm Brandon Lloyd. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Nick Jagovanci. Nice, nice to meet you. And we both work in the Extreme Computing Group. It's a, a kind of a lab within Microsoft Extreme Research. Extreme Computing? Right. Do you, guys have, do you drink a lot of Mountain Dew? This is a simple mobile augmented reality system. So we have this image and the cameras on the tablets that you see here, and we've got a, this one fixed on the tripod. They are tracking that image. So this is, this is tracking here, mm -hmm. and then you guys are tracking individually on, right. these, on these tablets. Right. By finding this image in the video feed, it can figure out where the camera is in space. And then once it knows where the, the real camera is, it can render virtual objects from that same point of view and then overlay them on, on the background. Okay, so you guys have another mode on here that's called Connect Mode, and we brought Steve in to help us out with this. And can you explain what's going on with this? We um, hooked up a Connect camera to this, and what we're doing is we're capturing whoever sits in front of the camera in real time. This is disturbing. So this is kind of a, a different kind of video chat. All right, let me try this out. Let me get a... There he is. Okay, spin him around. And... It is, I feel like... This isn't right. People shouldn't be allowed to do this. <laughs> at the Kinect camera. You want me to look at Yeah, where? look at the Kinect. Here, okay. Okay, and then we'll freeze it, and now you can come and explore yourself with the tablet. That is something I enjoy doing, so... <laughs> oh, wow. This is very upsetting. Very upsetting. This is horrific. I mean, this is a true horror. This is like a scene from a Saw movie. So we're making our way through the Microsoft campus here, but uh, we're going to stop and take a look at this anechoic chamber they've got where they do sound testing and they test webcams there, and it's supposed to be pretty cool. Uh, and I'm hoping I can get maybe a little nap in if uh, I play my cards right. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm Josh. Good. I'm Dale Sieg. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for letting us come in here, you betcha. Dale. And uh, what are we going to look at? So we are going to look at uh, one of our anechoic chambers here at Microsoft. Wow, this is really disorienting. Yes. This is, is 
it's kind of making me a little nauseous. Is yes. that normal? Um, it, it, depending on the person, it can be. And so if you guys get and I a can little, barely hear you. It, yeah. Is that normal? That's that is, normal. That is normal. Am I passing out? What if I just passed out right now? Has that happened then, before? That has not happened before. Has anybody freaked out from this? But though? we've had to escort people out really quickly. So we test all of our um, acoustic prog products, obviously. So our webcams and headsets. Uh, the Connect was tested in here. We actually also test non-acoustic products like for our mice and keyboards and other devices that have some mechanical characteristics that might generate a sound. We'll put them in this uh, anechoic chamber so we can actually characterize a sound and identify if it's a buzzing or a hum or the sound is coming from that sort of thing. Okay. Have you ever come in here and discovered Steve Ballmer asleep? taking a little, stealing away a little nap and had to wake him up? No, no, really? not yet. You can tell me. Not yet. No, so, no, no, I have okay. not. I have you know, when you think about it, uh, with the lights off and this you no know, sound, be kind of like sensory deprivation. Yes. You know, can you imagine yeah. what you'd see in that pitch black? Yeah. The ball, everybody gets very uncomfortable with Balmer jokes around here, <laughs> I have to say. Every time I mention Balmer, people are like, I can't, can't to comment on that. It's like he's listening, watching. Uh, you know, so I've thought about it. I actually, could I go in here and just stand in the dark in the chamber? Sure. Okay, yeah. great. Oh my God. Wait a second. I might actually be having some kind of vision. I'm seeing Steve Ballmer napping. <laughs> this is amazing. This vision of Steve Ballmer, I mean, flying. <laughs> this is really cool. We're in the Microsoft model shop. This is where Microsoft's actual products are designed and built. Uh, we're talking to Carson Agard, who is your model maker here. Yes. And so if, if a new Xbox were coming, if there was a new version, mm -hmm. which you can tell me, if there is, it's no okay, problem. I will. So what are we looking at here? You've got a table full of... We're, we're looking at um, basically a variety of what we do down here. Um, broken down to everything from uh, raw 3D printed parts to uh, some CNC parts. This is a 3D printed wrench that uh, you printed in one piece. Correct. And yeah. you can use it like an actual... Yeah, so that shows the ability to be able to print multiple parts together as an assembly. So we're here with Young Kim, who's one of the designers who worked on the Arc Mouse, which is a kind of an award-winning, pretty big product as far yeah. as mice go. It all st kind of started with um, with nothing more than just hair bands and foam core, where we were playing around with pieces that bent and flexed. So you have to you have to take this up to Balmer, right, and say, look, this will work. Not you don't you don't go we, right we, into his uh, office. We didn't, we didn't check in with Steve Ballmer this time. He doesn't. Time. You don't. He doesn't approve all the early mice designs. No, no that was no, my no. understanding. He, he I guess trusts I've... us to make the right decisions. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I really need to get something like this or this because I'm using like an old. Every time I reach into my bag, there's like a ball there. Yeah. What kind of mouse do you have? Yeah, it's like it's one of these oh. guys. This is like a classic. That's a classic mouse. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you ever seen anything this advanced? I think yeah. someone as stylish as you are, I think, deserves something like this. Well, that is, something that is a like shameless this. flattery, and I appreciate it. But you know what's cool about this is actually, I, I don't like big mice, and this yeah. is a little bit. It's a little bit bigger of a footprint, but it feels yeah, almost non-existent right. when yeah. you're holding it in your hand, which is great. And it, the fact that it you know folds flat, yeah, so you can put it in your pocket. Awesome. I mean, this is this just mm. disgusting. This is sick and spade. You have a hammer. Get it. Get the hammer. Let's go. This is, ooh, very strong. Surprisingly, surprisingly, Logitech is gonna love this, by the way. Uh, yeah, there you go. By yeah. the way, you know you have um, to, you have to sell or give me a mouse now, okay? <laughs> no, you don't, oh, you don't have a mouse now, okay. No, yeah, I don't. Well, well, hey, you thank you so much for this, question. really thank cool. So that, is that what you wanted? <laughs> I just totally destroyed my mouse for, for no reason. <laughs> And, and I still don't have a mouse replacement. Here's the really shocking thing. Uh, I discovered right after I smashed my mouth, mouse, which is a Bluetooth mouse, that the uh, Arc Touch has a dongle. So it was pretty upsetting.